across our regions, we're going to be doing a lot more fire in Victoria meetings and also establishing a lot more community fire guard groups. So for that purpose, we actually have to train a lot more people. In a normal year, we would train um, around 25 people to do a community fire guard. Uh, this year, we're going to be training in excess of 50. Our wildfire safety presenters who uh, presented our street corner meetings, normally we would train approximately 25. This year, it's going to be well over 80. So a huge increase in the amount of training that we're actually doing. Well, we do a lot of uh, work with our uh, trainee facilitators in actually using the facilitation process. Uh, we demonstrate the, um, each meeting. I did a demonstration meeting this afternoon on how to talk about bushfire survival plans and then we get each of our participants to actually facilitate a session so they get like a practice in doing it. Uh, we went out and did a vegetation walk which uh, gives a bit of uh, knowledge on how you can do that with a group and the kind of questions that you can ask and how that will work. We also did a session today on um, the type of warnings that communities can possibly get or may not get uh, with the whole idea that all the work that we talk about is really building self-reliance within those people within the community fire guard groups. I'm hoping to take back to the community some information that I have learned today and basically facilitate the communities that are in my area and around my area to get feedback from them so I can help them in the event of, of a wildfire. The presentation will give a whole lot of information that's just told, at, you know, presented for over an hour and there's no actual interaction and ability to discuss the questions. Uh, a facilitator, on the other hand, is a much, much better or more intimate, I guess, education process that um, really gives the participants a chance to really think about what they need to think about in planning for uh, their bushfire survival plan. And I think anyone that was involved or had exposure to Black Saturday um, certainly are committed to empowering our communities and making our communities safer. And to do that, we need to give those communities and the individuals in it uh, more knowledge and the tools so that they can make better, more informed decisions.